Michelle Berger here from buffmother.com. I am here to bring you another installment of our butt sandwich workouts. So today we are going to do the wrap, W-R-A-P, the wrap for our booties. So what we're going to do first is the W, which is a wigglet move that I like to do uh, during my workouts, especially in between sets. Um, also the R is for running ups. Those will really work your hip flexors and your glutes all at the same time. And then we have the A, which is adductions today. Adductions. And then the R, or the P, sorry. The P is for Pilates ups. So those are um, a fun little ballet type move that you can channel your inner little ballerina uh, doing those. So, okay. First exercise, wiggle it. Are you ready to wiggle it? Okay, these are a little bit like a dance move. And let me just move this so you can make sure you can see my legs. So what we want to do is just wiggle our hips kind of back and forth. Um, so to accentuate this, we lift up we lift up one knee at a time and we really focus on jetting that other butt out. And then, then the other side. So we're just kind of wiggling it. Now, the fun thing to do is to kind of just you know, getting the beat with a song that's on your iPod and just kind of wiggle it, lifting your heels up. If you want to, you don't have to. You can just do the booty pop without, but I like to get up on my toes. Let's see if you can see that here. So I'm getting up on my toes, back and forth. Make sure your stance is wide enough so you can do this. There's no real right, right or wrong way to do it. Um, get your arms moving in there if you want to or not. Uh, really what we're trying to do is just kind of jet those hips out, get some flexibility and mobility in your hips, and a little bit of coordination so you can look good on the dance floor. Also, this really act activates your abs. And so that's the wiggle it. Very simple move. Um, you go from the side, which is kind of back and forth. Um, I like to move my arms in conjunction like, like I'm a puppet. My leg goes up, my knee goes up, my arm goes up. And so I'm not the most coordinated aerobics instructor ever. So actually I've never taught aerobics in my life. <laughs> so, uh, you know, maybe these moves are so easy for you, but for someone like me, um, it's, it's just a fun little way to get in some dancing while I'm working out. So the next exercise is the R which is running ups. So basically as the name states, you're running. So what you need to do is uh, find something to hold on to. So you can have the back of your bench. Uh, you can have your squat rack bar here. Um, you can have a chair, you can have the wall even. So it's not, not hard to do these, but just make sure your arms are extended in front of you and that your body is far enough away that you're not gonna hit anything, okay? So what we're gonna do is just one leg at a time on these. And what you want to do is bring your knee up like you're running, keep it holding on the whole time, and then back behind you, uh, about one, one foot behind your hips or so, and maybe one and a half foot to two feet even behind. So we're going to kind of hop and bounce in between. So we're hopping and bouncing. Really extend that back so you have a nice, good extension of your hips and your abs. Now these also... You know, these really are working your, your hip flexor, but they're also adding to uh, some of the lower, lower uh, the butt muscles, lower back muscles, um, and those will help stimulate your muscles as you do them, okay? So let me just show you this way. Oh, it looks like from behind. See how it stimulates my, my glute muscles as they reach my foot behind me. So you can do, um, you know, Running drills um, are great for your glute development. You just think about what sprinters look like. They do running drills all the time and they have some of the nicest butts ever. Okay, so that was running ups. You're gonna do 10 of those on each leg. Um, I forgot to tell you how many of the wigglets you wanna do. You just wanna do 10 on each leg of those. And then the next exercise is the A. So these are adductions, like I mentioned in previous video. Um, adductions is when you move your legs together. Now, key thing on these is I want you to be very focused on bringing your legs apart also. 
and really making sure you get them as wide as you can. Uh, really open up those hips and you can move your legs just slightly and it changes the stretch a little bit and as I do them I'll show that to you also. So I'm going to do them on the bench but you can definitely do them on the floor. Um, I'm just afraid you won't be able to see me down there. So get, get on the bench. Make sure you put your hands uh, propped up underneath your butt just to to help you get those that good stretch. And what we want to do, like I said, is open up those legs nice and wide. You can point your toes if you want to. Uh, sometimes I like to really flex my quads as I'm doing these, and then together. Okay. These are also I also call these V ups um, in my after baby abs book. Now see. Now watch, if I rotate my legs out a little bit more, that changes the angle that I open up my hips to. Kind of activates my glutes just a little bit more. But if I rotate them in, that also changes it too. So if you're doing pigeon toed or toes out, it really changes the movement. So we just want to do 10 of these, okay? These are adductions. We're putting our legs together, adductions, okay? Really feel that stretch in, in your hips area right in here. And then the final exercise in our wrap is the Pilates Ups. So these are really uh, a fun move, like I said, channel your inner ballerina. So put your toes out, legs pretty close together actually, but toes out just like your ballerina. And I want you to go all the way down and then all the way back up and all the way up to your tippy toes reaching your hands up to the ceiling, okay? And then go back to the starting position, all the way down and up. And as you're at the top, I really want you to be squeezing those glutes. So, so for instance, watch this move here. I'm going down, all the way down, and then up, nice and slow and controlled, and then down again, okay? So down, up, really focus on holding the move, extending all the way. So down and up, okay? You might lose your balance a little bit, that's okay. We're just learning how to do these, so we're down and up, okay? So I just want you to do five of those. So the Pilates Ups, really slow and controlled movement, you know, making sure you extend all the way up. This is gonna help you with your balance, but also with the muscle control in your glutes and, and in your legs. So. These are great for um, opening you know, those hips up. Also, having those knees all the way out really, really helps do that. So, so that's the wrap. Um, like I said, do four rounds of these exercises. And, and below the video, it's detailed for you. Have fun working your hiney. Get, get it hard and strong and firm and flexible. And uh, you'll be thankful you did uh, as you get a little older and you uh, realize how important it is to keep that mobility in there. Take care. Bye-bye.